Would you like to know how to hit a perfect drop volley like this one? How'd you do that? Well, Mark, my training partner, really wants to know. So that's what I'm gonna talk about in this lesson. And it's all about combination of firmness of your hand and the angle of your racket. Let's dive right into it. So I've got a training drill set up here that you can copy at home. I've got the ball machine feeding a very low, kind of medium paced shot that's coming in about knee height or so, just like the shot that Mark gave me when we were playing points. And I want you to notice the targets on the other side. There's three targets and we're gonna do these progressively, receiving that same low tough shot. And we're gonna to experiment together on different angles of racket and firmnesses of hand. So let's start off aiming for the deep one. So the, the key here to hit this uh, target is to hit with a firm hand, squeezing the racket and guiding the racket forwards with an open face. If your racket face squares when you hit this shot, then you're going to hit the net. Remember, the face sends it. Wherever the angle is at contact, the ball's gonna go in that direction. And from this contact point down at knee height, if your racket is square, you will not make the shot. So the face has to be open. And then achieving that depth is all about finding the right firmness with your hand. And that deep of a target requires a pretty firm hand. I'd say I'm like, I don't know, a six or a seven if 10 is, like as hard, oh, ball machine missed. As hard as I can possibly squeeze the racket. That was a little off center, so it was short. There we go. Yeah, it's probably about a six or so, I would say. So that's how you achieve that depth. Now let's say we're going for the side tee. What you're gonna see now from this angle is the racket is now gonna start to absorb some more pace. On the deep one, I was really firm, so the racket moved through contact. There was a little bit of pushback of the ball hitting the racket, but now with the same speed of ball from the ball machine, now going for that kind of medium shot, you're gonna see the, the racket start to recoil a little bit. Did you, did you hear it hitting the, the court surface? And that's because the ball is actually winning the collision. And so now I'd say I'm about maybe a three or a four grip pressure. I'm actually really curious to see the replay uh, to see how much of a difference in the angle of the racket there is. I'm guessing my angle's a little more open on these, but my hand is definitely more relaxed. I'm at about a three or a four. Okay, now for the tough one, the short target, this is the one Mark wanted to know how to hit. You're gonna see now more recoil. My hand is gonna be at like a one or a two now. The firmer I am, the less the racket gives. The less the racket gives, the more energy gets sent back to the other side. So the only way to receive this pace of ball, this low, and avoid the net is to open the face and really relax your hand. And that's counterintuitive for most tennis players. So let's try the, the tough one now. It's too firm. Oh, there we go. And so now my racket is not moving through the ball at all. At least it doesn't feel, doesn't feel like it. I'm gonna have to check the, uh, oh, the replay. That was a little bit off center. And so if you attempt this shot, if you attempt the drop volley and the ball travels too far, you know that your hand was too firm. And so the racket didn't give enough to actually drop it short. If the depth is what you want, but the ball pops up too high, then you know that your firmness was good, but the angle of the racket was too open. It was facing upwards too much. So the way you make this shot is by marrying together the correct angle of the racket. It has to be open, but you don't want it too open so it pops way up with the right firmness of your hand. And I would highly encourage you to come out with a ball machine, a really nice one, like the Playmate that I have here, the iGenie. Have it give you the same shot again and again and again so that you have a constant there. And then you have uh, an experiment that you can run with different angles and different firmnesses. So have fun with it. 
This is how you hit the perfect drop volley. It's all about finding the perfect firmness and the perfect angle. Experiment at home and you'll be hitting it in no time. Thanks for watching.